Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new subscribers. It's Montina here, and my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information that helps you thrive in life and thrive in business. If that sounds good to you, subscribe. Now, this video is one of my business videos, so if you're not into like the business business stuff, then just keep it moving, it's okay. So I'll see you in the next video, but if you're interested in business, in this video series, Business Building Basics, How to Set Up a Small Business, we're going to discuss the 10 things you need to know when setting up your business. But before I do that, I need to tell you about a friend of mine. So I have a friend that had a business that was very successful. I'm talking about a few hundred thousand dollars successful. And they had a lot of things that they did wrong early on. So they were actually afraid to start another business. One of the big things was, Avoiding taxes. Listen, y'all, we just can't avoid taxes within our business. There's something that you have to pay. So you need a good bookkeeping system and you need a fantastic CPA. So they came to me and I'm like, okay, tell me about the business. And I literally started writing down steps um, on the board within my office. So I mapped it out and said, hey, first, we need to register the business. Open a business URL, bank account. Find one that's do free a national business. search. Um, think about getting a virtual office that might be important for your business apply for your EIN, open a business bank account, find one that's free with no minimums, identify your industry. So when I'm talking about identifying your industry, so with me, we are in the professional services space. So we do marketing, we do video production, like the video you see right now, we do digital strategy. So this particular individual was talking about, well, hey, um, we do maintenance. What do you mean maintenance? You're doing residential, you're doing commercial. So you wanna think about those things. Do you wanna do work with the government? So for my company, we work in various industries. We work in the legal industry, we work in corporate industry, we do some government industry. So you really need to think about that because if you're saying, well, I wanna do government, it's a longer play, it's gonna take more time. Do you need to get certified? And it's really all about building relationships too. Who do you know that knows who you need to know that has your money? Identify your service. Remember I said all of the things we do within our marketing company. Well, I had to do the same thing with this individual. They do air conditioning. Oh well, yeah, but we need to have um, this special license. I said, well, can you advertise you do air conditioning? Well, no, we can't advertise it. You really need to hone in and figure out what you're at the best at. Not what you're good at, not what you're the jack of all trades at, the absolute best. So identify what you're the best at and expand from there. Once you get in front of your client, you've built up that know, like, and trust factor, that's the time when you can expand your business. So it's very important to know those things. Set up an invoicing system. I like to use Wave apps. They're within our resources. When I'm talking about investing in an answering service. Set up your payroll system. Um, I recently had a friend. And make sure that you can secure all of your social media flooded, like profiles. On her first she called me and was like, oh my God. Invest in an answering, answering company, service. Call this number. When I'm talking we about investing in an answering that. service. Um, no one answered the phone. I had a friend. Guys, when you're running a business, I invest in an answering service. Like on her first board. She called me and was like, oh my God. It's $40 a month. So we're technically able to answer that. We actually had a client recently. 65, 24, 7. No one answered the phone. So I would highly invest, I invest in um, answering service. I just recommend that, that you invest in here. answering service. Forty dollars is just like Google. So we're technically able to answer our phones. Three sixty-five, okay. twenty-four. The other thing is they're never off. So I would highly invest. Um, highly recommend that you invest in an answering service versus just like Google Voice. You might think, well, I'll just use Google Voice. Okay. The other thing is hire a marketing company to build out your site. Now, yeah, you could do it yourself, but depending on your business you really may need to invest in a marketing company that can really give you a professional presence, especially when you're going after higher end clients. It's important. I always recommend visiting your local small business development office or small business administration websites for more information, or you can set up a call with me, it's free. Again, I'm Montina and I'm the founder and CEO of CIA Media Group, and we help companies rethink business for the digital age.